economist Nabil al masumi confirmed today, Friday, March 15, 2024, that eliminating illegal trade is the best way to reduce the gap between the official and parallel rates of the dollar against the dinar. al masumi said in a post on Facebook, finally, the Central Bank of Iraq admitted that illegal trade is the reason for the gap between the official and parallel rates of the dollar against the dinar. He added, the solution lies in eliminating this trade and then stopping the import of Iranian goods specifically, stressing that this is not possible practically or in maintaining this gap, which is what will most likely happen. The U.S. State Department revealed the reason for the exemptions granted to Iraq to import gas and energy from Iran despite the sanctions, noting that the exemptions aim to give Iraq an opportunity to reduce its imports and reduce its dependence on Iran. U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller said, the exemption, which expires at the end of this month, has been renewed for the 21st time. These exemptions were issued regularly to Iraq, and date back to 2018 under the previous administration. Miller pointed out that the money that Iran earns from selling electricity to Iraq is not allowed to enter Iran adding that the money is kept in restricted accounts and can only be used in transactions for the purchase of food, medicine, medical devices, and agricultural products, as well as other non-profit transactions. Subject to punishment, he explained, part of the broad U.S. goal is to move Iraq away from relying on Iran to provide electricity because that is what these exemptions do. Miller pointed out that Iraq has made real progress on its path towards achieving energy sufficiency since 2020, noting that it has reduced its imports of Iranian energy by more than half over the past decade, and has doubled its electrical energy generation, and we will continue to work with them and support them in their attempt to become independent in the field of energy.